Thank you, Jesus, for everything you have done. God bless you. God bless you, everyone. My name is Apostle Peter Daniel. By the special grace of God, you are watching me in Heaven and Hell Life program under the umbrella of a school of heaven. Uh, by the special grace of God, we are going to continue in the exposing and correcting the errors that is in the church. Over 250 errors that is taking people to hell every day. Uh, this is a serious matter. It's not just a kind of teaching, but it's a teaching that can bring a revival and restoration to the church. Because this is actually causing a lot of problem in the church right now. People are dying, but they are not making it to heaven. Because God can never compromise his word. You miss it, you go to hell. You make it wrong, you go to hell. That is just the basic, basic life of God. Uh, and by the grace of God, we are going to be dealing with the errors in the church. The third part, uh, we are in part three. Before we start, let's quickly have a word of prayer. Everlasting Father, we want to bless your name because of your faithfulness and power. Be glorified in the name of Jesus. Our, our Redeemer, our glorious Father, we pray at this moment, at this time, that you speak to us in the power of your majesty. Let the, our heart receive you, O Lord. Thank you, Father, because you are faithful. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. By the special grace of God, today we are going to be dealing with three witnesses that makes marriage to be approved. Three witnesses that can make marriage to be approved. You see, uh, uh, whenever I want to teach this topic, it's always I'm always so happy about it because. Uh, uh i'm always happy to destroy the plans and the work of the devil many people thought their marriage is actually working many people thought they are married meanwhile god is seeing them as somebody who is not married amen <laughs> god is seeing them as somebody who is not yet married and uh, the truth of the fact is that by the time they die they will thought they are married but by the time they get to heaven they will be sent away to hell straight away straight away to hell many christians marriage and pastors marriage around the whole world are totally disgusted that god did never god has never approved it god has never approved such a marriage there are some sisters that are passing through hell right now they are there because they feel that uh, uh, it is the right thing for them to pass through it well i didn't say that you should not pass through with their times of difficulties but the point is that passing through air where god has not even approved and some people the big the foundations of their marriage is actually the causes of their problem at their home because uh, when god did not approve a, a marriage there is no way you have peace of mind till you die and no more so these are the things i want you to personally digest before we go into the message now three witnesses that bring approval of god three witnesses that can make your marriage work if these three witnesses is not particularly established you are wasting your time and if you are in any marriage or you have given somebody to marriage in a wrong way you will never it's not a cause it's a sincere matter you will never make it to heaven because say, there is no way you will never there's no way run it well try your possible best run it well struggle well pray well and fast well you will make it to heaven until the daily witness is established i'm going to confirm from the scripture for you so that you can see what i'm saying if this daily witnesses is not confirmed you will be in problem a severe one it's so pity that many pastors and ministers we have now didn't understand the mystery of marriage. Once they will just ask you, has he paid your dowry? You say yes. He paid your dowry. You say yes. Uh, it has become your husband. You have become your husband. You have become the wife. So anything that happens, you will endure it like that. Meanwhile, they didn't make the time to investigate whether the marriage is actually approved or not. But they just feel like, uh, let us go ahead. And uh, alongside ways, the family will begin to have problem. The husband will die and go to hell. The wife will die and go to hell. 
what causes it because their marriage is not legalized by god let me tell you something when as much you are a child of god there is no way your marriage will not pass through the court of god you are the one that thought that uh, paying dowry as an engagement is all it's not all sir you are the one thinking that when you go to a church and you consecrate you or you go to a court and they approve your marriage they give you certificate okay, that everything is done it is not all your marriage has passed through the court is you that did not know and it's either approve or decline it's either you receive an approval or you receive an decline number one if these three witnesses is not perfect as i've said before you have just been wasting your time ever since which means that uh, well your marriage might not be approved until you go and do the right thing who are the three witnesses that makes a marriage to become approval number one approval let me say is the husband or the man and the woman that want to marry themselves one of the problem we have in the body of christ is this the man with the the father of the daughter we tell the daughter i want you to marry this particular person and the daughter we tell the man we tell the father say study brother color is who i have prayed about and who i have seen as confirmation but because he's the father the father say i will never accept any brother color brother color that did not have money how can you be married brother color so go and marry brother today brother today is the one having vehicle and that one if you marry brother today our life will be changed so when the sister obey and marry brother Kunle, a big brother uh, brother uh Tunde, by the time the sister married brother today what happened is that in heaven the law will cancel such a marriage it will not be approved now another situation is this a daughter is she in a young age and somebody came and said i want to pay the dowry the girl is still around let me say five years seven seven years and the man came and said i want to pay the dowry the the daughter has not yet know anything about it he doesn't even know whether he liked the man or not there's no any love of you know anything nothing nothing nothing, nothing. But the man paid the dowry. So when the guy now grows up, you now say that is your husband. No, 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 no. Such a marriage is a fake. In short, this false witness is the witness between the or the man and the woman. The man and the woman. Now, this is the first one now. Amen. The first woman, the witness is the man and the woman. How is it a witness? is this is it the ma must first agreed to marry the sister and the sister must also agree to marry the brother if there is no agreement between the two of them a mysterious agreement the marriage cannot be approved by god i want you to know that the marriage you do on earth without god's approval is just fake and wasting of time it's fornication and morality every marriage has to pass through the court of god it's either it is approved or declined how jesus is the starting which i mean by god god is the starting of uh, uh, of marriage is the one that started the marriage the constitution of marriage was bring from god and the first one was presently done in god god is the one that do the first one himself so any other marriage must also pass through the court of god and before god we approve he will make sure everything is in our line justice and truthful and sincerity for example a man has given birth before you did not tell the woman that you have given birth the woman now married you finish you are not saying that uh, 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 you have to understand we are married, we are married. I've done some mistake before and that is the past. God has forgiven me, so let's marry ourselves. 
He said, so you have to forgive me. And meanwhile, you have paid the dowry. You didn't tell the sister. And the sister said, oh, no, 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 no. I have not. I, in my life, I've promised I will not marry any man who has given back before. Why will you do this to me? He said, well, I'm so sorry. So you have, you, at least you have nothing you can do now. I'll pay your dowry. That dowry is rejected. It's a fake wedding. God will never approve such a wedding. You have to be sincere with that thing first. Your life has to be plain to that sister. Sir, as a sister, your life has to be plain to the man. You have to let the man know, I am a prostitute before. But along the side, I repented. And I gave my life to Christ. Can you marry me like that? There should not be a kind of lying or any kind of deceiving among the two of them. If there is any part whereby a brother or a sister is deceiving any of them, that marriage will be totally rejected by God. Seriously rejected. Now, the man must be sincere. There's a brother that when they are coming to church, they will go and borrow vehicle. They will borrow the vehicle of their friend and come to the church that driver and be as if they are the owner of that vehicle. They will be driving it. Ah, uh, sister, come and enter my vehicle. After wedding day, brother, brother did not even get bed. Inside room, inside white room. He not even get kissing in places. Now, Matt, where he sleep? He not can, he can't carry sister, carry a con house. Say sister sleep. Eh? Brother, brother Joshua, you can't be joking. Uh, where are the cars? You say, well, um, Sister Debo, um, you see, all those cars is my friend cars. You no, know, I can't, you know, it's just to cover up my something. Now, say, are, are you joking or what? He say, um, you see, let's forget. God forgive us, okay? At least we are married now. Uh, we begin to work together and things will be going well. <laughs> are you joking or what? So she sat and got angry. Ah, you deceive me. You deceive me. You deceive me. You now say, well, I've deceived whether I deceive or not. At least I marry you. Such a marriage is fake. Now, another sample is that you as a man, you know that you cannot do. You know your something cannot rise up very well. And in the process, you went ahead to go and marry a sister. You never tell the sister that you are impotent. That the thing, even though the thing rise, you know they work. You never tell the sister. After the marriage, make you come do something. The thing come, the come, they come down. You know they do, you know they start. You know, say, hey, sister, you have to manage it. What are the things you can recommend for me so that uh, the thing can start? <laughs> Such a marriage cannot be approved by God. Eh? It can be approved by God. Or you are a brother, you are smoking. But you come to church to pretend that to be a, a, as a brother. You are pretending yourself. Say, I'm a brother, I'm a brother, I'm a brother. And after that, you now get married. You two look at it. If you are God, you think you two and you accept it. God, I want you to know that God is is high, he has a high IQ. God has a high IQ, and he's a very justice God and truthful God. You see, is I'm so you know when I grew up. I begin to see the way pastors are designing marriage. And in the process, I begin to look, say, if marriage is like this, make personal marriage better. Because they will tell you whether the person is said you are married, you are married forever. They will not bother to look at the cause, the kind of foundation of bringing up. Whether it is approved, no prayer to pray about it. They will just say, I did you pay your diary? They just want to know, did you pay your diary? Say, yes, sir, that is all. Ah. Just like that. You see, that is all. You see, anything God is dealing with has to be true. God is not a God of liar or God of deception. No, 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 no. He has to be truthful. In a small that case, we pass through the altar of God, into the court of God. He has to be truthful. Oh, they say, oh, they yeah, oh, they yeah. Because he first say, there is no other shortcut. You have, if you are not truthful in your matters, no ever, no marriage, no approval. Are you listening to me now? 
let's 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 for example a sister was mad is in a mental problem and the mother is looking for her husband to marry her and in the process they say ah our sister if you can marry the sister we will give her money in the process a man came and showed that he want to marry the sister and after the after marrying the sister uh, the sister not get in one way or the other and sister now say ah, who are you he said well your mother's i marry you in your condition she said, but i didn't agree to marry you i didn't like you if that person died if the lady insists that he did not want to, he didn't want to be that the marriage is not established you cannot even in the court of law you can't do any marriage outside the concept of that person he must be aware there are some people that they use some to marry them they will go to a white cell uh, white churches they will go and tie the brother tie the brother and say and call the brother head and say ah uh, brother this and this until you marry me so if you not marry me this and this will happen you will not have case of marriage so the brother will be having dreams having dreams having dreams one way or the other the brother will say well i've been since salama just his money so she's the one that god has appointed for me and to marry the sister all these things is not going to be approved so what are we going to what are we saying is that the man and the woman has to be in full concept and another thing i want to say is that you bring in well i'm coming on that i'm going on that one the second one is this the second witness that's the first witness the witness of the husband and the wife the suppose uh, couples that wanted to marry themselves they have to agree in with all their heart not with management with all their heart with all their spirit to agree to marry themselves and to be loyal to themselves to be cleanly lawyers not to be deceitfully in any of what they are doing uh that is on that area then the second one is parental witnesses especially the witnesses of the wife parent ah uh, let me tell you something i don't know about your home no. if your father and your mother is against your marriage better go and cut it off because it's not approved if you don't cut it off and you die you will go to hell i'm telling you there's no there's no shortcut they must be your fatherly approver especially your father if your mother agrees for that man and your father did not agree don't go ahead make sure that your father agrees to that marriage if your father said no i'm not allowing you to marry this person don't go ahead as a woman don't go ahead if you go ahead you are fornicating and you will end up in hell the father must be the one to hand over the young sister to the husband the parental parent the parent of the uh, uh of the husband even though they are support or they are not fully support that one is you have to make sure that they support but it's not as too big as the parent of the wife you see the reason i say so is because uh the parent of uh, of jacob was not there when they get married i can cite to many many places where they get married and the parent of that man was not there but there is a kind of compulsory subject that the parent of the wife must be in support the david david wives all of them they have their parent presented and david was not we, we didn't see where uh, david parent was there because the man is the one who wanted to take a wife so now which means that the parent of the husband is if there is a need for the concept and the agreement but if paraventure maybe the parent of the husband was a muslim and you feel like no 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 no, no. i'm not accepting to marry a, a christian and you feel like you can go ahead that one is still as it's as it is it's still a limit issue you can talk to god and try to make things up but the wife the wife parent is in a high order there is no shortcut if the parent of the wife did not agree don't go ahead 
especially the father the bible mentioned the father there basically when he's talking about paying of dowry he said pay it to the father so now he said especially the father because the father is the most ownership uh, is the one that have the most owner power over the daughter that's why whenever they want to marry a daughter they will say who is giving a the the uh the woman to the man is the father that will always come out not the, the the mother because it's not the mother it's the father so the father will be the one to come out and say i'm i'm the one amen he will be the one to say i'm the one giving my daughter a marriage to this particular man so the man especially the father there's no shortcut if your father is not in agreement because he is standing as a second witness in the in the court of law of heaven in the court of law of heaven if they are not in agreement the parent of the wife himself he better go and pray well and if you see that you are trying your possible best talk to god you can't go ahead though. because many of you the court will tell you that you can do and do with court wedding without their approval if you do it will be in trouble these are the reason why your homes have not been settled these are the reason why your children will not also obey you these are the reason why your children too will become a rascal people in the towns because they cannot be amounted to the to good things because you have but you have created a bad foundation for them so you don't you didn't you didn't know that your foundation your starting of the marriage matters and it's very very important if you if you didn't have a good foundations on the issue of this uh, marriage of a thing is too dangerous too dangerous too dangerous too dangerous there's no way out the theory must be perfect if your parent is dead then who is standing as a parent for you who is standing like a father for you the person will be the one if you have elderly brothers the one with that your daddy brother will stand as a father for you to hand you over to a a a a, a husband otherwise there is no way out there's no way out your parent has to be a prover of it then the third one because of our time is the god own side this one is the most difficult of all we are going to deal with it by the grace of god but it's the most difficult of all now listen to me very well many of you you have passed the first one you passed the second one but the third one you fail many of the marriage in the whole world now let me say 85 percent of the marriage they are not approved i mean christian marriage they are not approved by god do you know why yeah you see god god is different from a man you see a pastor can come and join you together a court somebody who is a lawyer or a judge can come and join. but god is different anything that will make god to become a human being god will not involve anything that will make god to become a useless god god will not involve anything that will make god that will make you to say ah god so you not get eyes god will not involve anything that will make you human being to accuse god and put a finger of accusation to god god will not involve yes he will not involve i will explain some certain things to you that will make you to know whether your own marriage is approved or not now now this is very well you see god god is a god that can see all things and that knows all things and forever and ever his war will ever be settled let me cite an example a man came he said he wanted to marry a lady and that lady is not a human being listen to me very well that lady happened to be a animal that turned to human being. There are some people in this world that they are animal. 
that he came and transformed the human being. Now, in such a cases, the person that comes now, that come and transform himself as a, 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 you know, a sister, to you now, you will say, this person is a sister. To you, you will approve and say, this person is a particular, is a sister. To you. But to God, God is seen animal. When you come to the altar, or you want to go and pay dowry, you want to go and pay dowry, or you come to the altar for joining, and God has to be the approver. You are the sister is calling herself Sister Deborah. Why is God is seeing the sister as sister, sister antelope? Because God is seeing antelope and human being. Now, to you, you come to the altar and you do marriage. God will never approve an animal to marry a human being. Never. This I'm, I'm telling you the reason why some pastor will say that eh, sir, eh, my wife is this, my wife is that, and I marry her. What else can I do? The point is that God, any marriage that God did not approve, he did not approve it. God cannot approve an animal to marry a woman being. That's one. Another sample: a sister is a marine's agent. You are the one that is blind. They might blind you, but they cannot blind God. A sister is a married angel. When the sister wanted to come to the world, it, they, they instructed that sister that when you are coming, you are coming because of brother Adegbile. You are coming because brother Adegbile. Your own purpose and your plan is that you have to make sure you marry the brother and destroy the purpose and the the ministry God has given to the brother. That is the instruction they gave to this marine spirit, marine agent. Now, listen to me now. They gave this instruction. They now send this sister as a baby. They send it to the world. One way or the other, he went ahead and go and marry the brother. They believe. When, this, when you are carrying the sister to the altar, God knows that sincerely that the sister did not love you. So now, the first protocol and the first witnesses has broken. Because the first protocol and principle is that both of you have to agree in sincerity that two of you are going to marry each other. Sincerity agreement that, okay, me and brother, I don't believe we are going to, I love her, I love him sincerely, I want to marry, I want to help his life. Now, the meaning of a, of a, of a woman as a wife is that the wife must be a help mate you are listen to me until the woman is actually a help mate god will not approve it now the sister is now coming as a destroyer to your own ministry and you are expecting god to approve such a marriage he will not approve it you are the one that is blind that you cannot see god is not blind He will approve it. Now, the time your sister is standing before you and you are on the altar of joining each other to become husband and wife, God is actually seeing the sister as a fish. You are seeing the sister as Sister Angela. Why did God is seeing the sister as Sister, sister Marishata in the kingdom of darkness? Marishata that was sent to destroy the ministry god will not approve it see god is god of holiness he can he is the one who can see the inner and the outside you are the one that is blind human being you pray you say you say the sister in a dream because they influence they manipulate your dream life god will not approve it are you listening to me at all god will not approve it there is no way you can do it in life. In as much, the people say, ah, ah, a, sister, a sister is coming. And the sister is a witch. Half human being, half demonic witch. She, she is a cat. She usually turns to a cat in the middle of the night. And she's also a human being. So she has become a beast. She has become a beast. Half human, half animal. 
when you presented that person to God, there is a scanner that will scan the sister in God's presence in the court of God because every marriage has to pass through the court. In as much you are the child of God, God did not have matter with worldly marriage because modern marriage is not controlled by God. What did like? What did they like? Now they they do. But as a Christian, your court, your whole marriage will pass through the court of God. God will scan the sister, we scan the brother. If the brother, there was a city parlor, I don't want to mention any, any touch. There was a particular sister that married a brother, and the brother is a demonic entity. The brother will be disappearing and will be appearing. And the sister was shouting in the church that my husband is like this. And they said, The sister that you are married, you are married. One day, one day, the brother finished what he's doing and disappear forever. Now, the sister now refused to marry. Because the reason is not that maybe she didn't want to marry, but the, they told her in the church is going that she cannot marry. Because you are married to that demon. And this is too erratic. It's heresy. Meanwhile, God cannot approve. You, you see, oh my God. You have to understand that God is God. God is not a human being. He's God. So he makes sure that everything he does, he does it without an equation of question near tomorrow. That you will say, Lord, be a for me. Are you not the one that give me the husband? Are you not the one that give me the wife? No. So God will not approve it from the beginning. Are you listening to me? There are some particular things that you have to understand. Another thing is this. If you are destined to marry a virgin, maybe God told you personally, go and marry a virgin. And you went ahead to go and marry somebody who is not a virgin. God will not approve it. He won't approve it. Because you have gone against his order. Now, another thing is this. Let's imagine that you are a sister. You want to marry. A unbeliever was telling you that you want to marry you. A unbeliever brother was telling you you want to marry you. Or you as a brother, you want to marry an unbeliever. And you bring the unbeliever in God's presence. God will not approve it. Do not be equally yoked with an unbeliever. You see, the God that said it cannot be the one to overrule that statement again. God that said that statement cannot be the one that will cancel the statement again. No, he can't do it. God does not go against himself. If he does it, Satan will come against him. And we, it will be a kind of embarrassment. Stephen, are you talking? Why do you still do it? So God always remove himself from embarrassment. That's why there's nothing that happened to a man that God will not force you first. We first show you first and tell you this thing. If if you not if you not come pray, well, now you can't say, but he will have warned you first to tell you. So these are the three witnesses. The witnesses of number one, a sister and a brother. The sister must agree. Look at uh, in the book of uh, Genesis. Genesis chapter 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 20 24 Genesis chapter 24 If you read the place very well, he's talking about how Isaac got his wife. Number one, Abraham sent his boss, I mean, his, uh, his, uh, his uh, chief uh, servant to go and get a wife for his son. One is an approval of the son that any wife he gets from the father's own family is his wife. That's, that one is correct. Then two, when the servant gets there, the Bible says that the servant gets, when they get to the family, to the well, where they usually fed, the Bible says the servant kneeled down and prayed, say, Lord, please 
according to the desire of my husband now he has put god first he's asking for god's own willing husband or willing wife now he has already bring god into the matter he said lord any woman that will come and fetch me water fetch the camel water i will know that that person as a witness is, is the one meanwhile abraham said go and marry from this particular family for my own household and exactly as the servant prayed god has prepared the wife of isaac and the wife of isaac came and the wife of isaac came and come and fetch the water and the servants got to know that this one is a truly god one, which means that if you want your pray your, your marriage to be approved you must marry the person God wants you to marry. If you marry the person who God did not say you are going to marry, it's going to be a problem for you, a big problem for you. There might be a partial uh, uh, approval, but it can never be a fully approval because it's going to cause you a lot of problem. A lot of big problem. Now, now the god is the one who bring the sister now after that incident he carried the story is in genesis chapter 24. he carried this the sister lead into his father's house because he gave the sister the ring and everything now when he get to the sister house he met with the brothers of the sisters and the uncle was there. now when he get there and he explained he explained to them he said i pray and my master, he explained everything in loyalty and sincerity to the parent and to the parents of the sister. But you see what? The parent of the sister said, we have no problem. We cannot go against God's will. But let us ask the sister. Let me, let me, let me ask you. Let me, let me read the place for you. In the book of uh, Genesis 24. Genesis 24. I will read from you verse 57 so they said listen read that let, listen up. so they said we will call the young woman that is the sister rebecca we will call the young woman and ask her personally i'm just reading that face for you now they have to ask the sister approval it's not just uh, a matter of uh, this thing they have to ask the sister approval then they call Rebecca and said to her, Will you go with this man? You see that now? Will you go with this man? And she said, I will go. And they sent away Rebecca, their sister. You see that? That is what made them to approve. So there is a kind of agreement on that sister that is going to go and marry the brother though he has not seen the brother but he has the ability to know where the brother is whether the brother has a young back whether the brother is tall or short i don't want to know once it is god will i'm ready, ready to go and marry the brother so there is a concept of god the two of the the concept of god one the concept of the parent the two parents and the concept of the sister and the brother and the bible said that when they are bringing the sister and isaac saw the sister he was so happy to meet her so there is a concept of the three party the three witnesses to establish the basic will of god if your own is not established in this format it's a fake wedding and you will go to hell if you did not do the right thing god bless you and god bless you my name remain apostle peter daniel i have just uh, explained to you the three witnesses that make every marriage to be approved. If your own, if one is missing in these three witnesses, it is not going to be approved. If one is missing in these three witnesses, it's not approved. That marriage has a question mark. You need to go back to God and pray. I am not encouraging anyone to divorce anyone or to go and break their homes because of this, but I'm encouraging you to go back to God and go and pray from more directions otherwise you might not make it to heaven god bless you share this to everyone so that people can be saved do you know how many people their marriage is not stabilized do you know how many people who have died in their marriage because they thought their marriage is right 
Meanwhile, not knowing that God didn't approve that marriage, share it to everyone. You can save a life. Do you know how many Christians that think that they are going to heaven? Meanwhile, their marriage is not in the right standard. And they didn't know that God will never accept anyone who their marriage is not in right, uh, right standing. If your marriage is not in passing through these three witnesses, as not you pass through the altar of God, as not you pass through your parents and yourself, you, you are in a wrong relationship. Go and pray so that God can help you. Share it, subscribe, may God help you and deliver you in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you and God be with you. Shalom. Bye.